And there's a little pup next to me. Moger. Just wanted to show you a little mo. Was it worth dropping the camera? I don't know. What is up today guys? Today I got a lot of recording to do. This is the first video I'm gonna record the experience I had at Full Sail in month 14, Fundamentals of Physical Science. Then I'm gonna record Full Sail Experience 14, uh, Character Modeling Fundamentals. And then I'm gonna do like a short video where I'm like, this is my month overall, how one class affected the other. So this is the first video. I'm not in my apartment. I am uh, I'm outside, out and about, out in town, hitting the town, looking good and all around. This is my experience month 14 at full sale. My month 14 could be your month 12 to 16 depending on your prerequisites. I had two done. Uh, that's why it's 14 for me. I say it every month, but just in case this is your first month with me, welcome. I welcome you. Let's get into this. Full sale university computer animation degree program fundamentals of physical science. Let's get into this. This class, there's really not a lot to talk about. I have a computer right here. Wrote all my notes down. Uh, we're gonna talk about class information, assignments, the teacher, some tips, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of an in short, and then just a few things that I have to say will also be in that third video. For the most part, everything you need to know about the class itself will be in this class. Uh, additional comments and thoughts will be in the third video. So let's get into this. Class information, let's go. You have 18 assignments throughout the month. Sounds like a lot, but honestly, it's not don't stress yourself out not bad at all the lectures shoot okay the lectures were of indeterminate length every time you never knew what it was going to be like actually most classes the lectures are about an hour and 45 minutes maybe two hours long sometimes these lectures sometimes they were 30 minutes long sometimes i think the first one was like an hour and a half but that's just because it's like welcome here are the rules of this class stuff like that but most of the time they fell between like 30 to 40 minutes and an hour or so Alrighty, so let's keep going. Yeah, this class did something that not many classes do, and that is they actually give you lecture notes. Like, a lot of times you're sitting there with your notebook and you're writing down, you're pausing it so that you can write down the steps to do something. This one gives you the lecture notes. Like, you can print them off and you're good to go. The lecture notes don't have all of the lecture slides in them. There's a kid staring at me in his little orange jacket. Yeah, they give you the lecture notes, so that was really beneficial. I got a notebook and everything. I was like, clean notebook, this physical science, I'm gonna have to write a lot of junk down. I didn't have to write a lot of junk down, so that's good. Uh, now we're gonna just hop into some assignments because that's basically all I got for this class information. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So let's hop into some assignments now. Every single week was essentially the same, just a different topic. Now, do I remember the topics off the top of my head? No, I don't. Week one was something about like inertias and energy of some sorts. Week two was more or less water related, buoyancy, density stuff. Week three is a lot of like waves, you know, sound waves, light waves, stuff like that. And then week four is space stuff, gravitational forces and such. A bunch of old people coming out of a hot and fresh donut shop. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of old people. Let's keep talking. So now that we know the topics of the weeks, what did your week really look like? Because like I said, they were all basically the same. You had your lecture and in your lecture, you know, you downloaded the course notes and basically followed along. You really didn't have to write anything down because the way that the teacher presented the, the, the information, he didn't add too much that wasn't in the presentation. Remember in high school when you had a teacher and you know, the, every day it's like a PowerPoint and they're just reading off the PowerPoint to get you the information. That is essentially what this guy did. Come here, buddy. He didn't add much that wasn't written down, you know? You had your lecture, and there you download your course notes. Do on Thursdays, you had a question to ask him, right? So let me explain what you had to do. Watch the lecture, read the notes, and then by Thursday at midnight, you had to ask him a question. It was like a little quiz, what you'd call it. First question, did you watch the lecture and read the notes? Yes. Second question. What is the topic of which your question is about? So you type in the topic and then you try to define the topic. And it doesn't matter if you get it right. It just matters that you um, write something down. Uh, and the last question, you ask your question. Um, but it had to be something that you can't find in the lecture, can't find in the notes, and it's a legitimate question. That's how you get your 2% for the assignment, right? Okay, so we're going to move on. You only had three other assignments for the week. And this is the exact same for every week. You had a science in action, you had a diagram, and you had a knowledge check. What are all of those? Well, we're gonna explain. 
Just give me a second. Okay, so the science in action. It was sort of interesting, but at the same time, not really. Do you remember in high school, at least in my high school, we had gizmos. Gizmos, it's a little website you go to and you play this sciencey game or this interactive science thing and you uh, you learn from it. It's like, if you change this part of the experiment, how will it affect this part and stuff like that? It almost looks like a flash game, but it's not. So that's what the science and actions were for the most part. He would give you a link to some sort of little sciencey game. I wouldn't really even call it a game, just a sciencey virtual 2D experiment thingy. And you would answer anywhere from 10 to 20 questions on it. And it would be like, if you increase the density of your cube how will that affect dropping it in the water stuff like that so it's just questions you follow along with the questions you do what the questions say over here in your experiment tab and then you you just kind of answer the questions according to the results you got easy sometimes you're gonna need a calculator but most of the stuff you can do on your phone diagrams okay so the diagrams they're there I guess he'll give you a blank diagram and uh, I'm gonna cycle mine through here he'll give you a diagram it'll say find a picture with an object in the air and a second secondary object or something like that. So I chose that helicopter scene from Captain America Civil War. Captain America's running. You grab the helicopter to stop it from flying, you know? You put that picture in there. And then over on the side, there's a table chart thingy. And it said, uh, moving object with the highest inertia. And then you have to type the object. Mine was the helicopter. And then it said, uh, take this red circle and circle it in your picture. So then it just lists like five or so things that you have to find and use the, uh, the circles and the arrows and the rectangles and stuff to highlight that on your image. So it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory for the most part. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Then you just have to cite your image in APA style and uh, save it as a PDF and upload it. Alrighty, so that was your science in action and your diagram. Now your knowledge check, and like I said, all of these are the exact same for every week, so I don't need to be like, week one, your science check, or science check, I combine them. I don't need to be like, week one, your diagram, week two, your diagram, because they're all practically the exact same, just different subjects, which I already mentioned. Your knowledge check, it's just a quiz. It's 20 questions. This is the majority of your grade in this class, so you're gonna wanna use your notes on it. Everything's open book, you're all good. Just a relatively easy class, I guess. Some of the quizzes I got 85s, but I couldn't really find them in the notes. Maybe it was mentioned in the lecture. I don't know. My overall grade for this class is like a 93, so I'm happy with that. Honestly, I can pretty safely say that I don't remember anything taught in this class. Week one, the total amount of work was five hours, 21 minutes, and that's because you had your welcome stuff you had to get through and all that good stuff. Week two, I spent three hours, six minutes because it's a fairly easy thing. Hey, buddy. Here, let's turn the air on for you. Week three, two hours, 51 minutes. You can see where it's mostly falling around three hours somewhere. And then week four, three hours, 27 minutes. It's a pretty friggin' easy class. My problem with it was like this class was so boring that I didn't feel motivated to, to do anything, you know? It's pretty safe to say that I've learned nothing from this class. If you were to ask me about any topic discussed, probably wouldn't be able to answer it. That's, that's just the way it is. When it comes down to sciencey stuff, I'm not, I had to remember all of that. The thing that I do best, I see things best and I make things. Learning and remembering all that science jazz, it's not up my alley and I'm not gonna remember that. I practically knew that coming into this class, but that's just, just how it goes, just how it went. So let's uh, talk about the teacher real quick. We'll do some tips and an in short and then remember my final thoughts on this class will be tied into that last video the part three so teacher not much to say he is extremely professional you can tell that he's been doing this for a while i don't remember how long he said he was doing it I feel like he said 16 years but man i could be way off maybe it was six years the number six is in my head for some reason, so maybe six or 16, I don't know, but he's been doing this for, for a while, and you can tell by the way he speaks and his mannerism and stuff like that. Given his extreme professionalism, he is not personal whatsoever. He's not like, what's up guys, today, uh, uh, wait, that's what I say. He's not like, hey guys, uh, today we're gonna be learning about some buoyancy and stuff like that. He's not fun, he's like, the second you start that lecture, it's like, all right, so slide one, we are going to talk about buoyancy and stuff like that he's very let's get right to it and let's get it done that's what it seemed like never uh hope you guys are doing well let's get into this we're gonna have some fun very professional keep that in mind he's not like aj or uh steve gold or anything like that just keep that in mind very professional okay just some tips it's boring as heck this class is but just get it done it's like four hours of work max per week it's a 
aside from that week one where you're going through some welcome stuff, but just get it done. The problem for me that I had was so bored, like in past classes like animation or um, stuff like that, I was motivated to get this thing done. I'm like, this is fun. I want to work on it. Let's do it. This one, I was so unmotivated, so bored out of my mind that no part of me wanted to do it and I ended up procrastinating, which really hurt me. Definitely don't procrastinate. You'd think that I'd know that by now, being that this is my 14th month at Full Sail, which is the school where you cannot procrastinate. Definitely don't do that. This is not the month to do that. Use your notes, that's my next tip. Use your notes. You can write stuff down during the lecture, but take the notes, keep them, print them out so you have them in front of you, but also open up a side window, that way search for keywords when you're doing your your knowledge check or something like that. So that can help you an awful lot. If it's talking about inertia and you just go over there, what is it, control F or command F or something, and then type in inertia and it'll bring you to the section. So that way you're not searching through your notes forever. And just in case I didn't say it, question things due Thursdays. All of your homework in weeks one, two, and three, aside from the question, are due on following Monday. But then in the fourth week, it's due that Sunday before the new class starts. So and in short, what can you expect from this class? 18 assignments. Most of your lectures will be 30 minutes to an hour long. First one might be a little bit longer. You can expect to be given the notes for your uh, course lecture. You can expect a question assignment to be due on Thursdays. You can expect a little science in action thing where you play a little something in a separate tab and answer some questions on it. Usually 10 to 20. You can expect a diagram every week over whatever topic it is that week. You can expect a knowledge check which is essentially a 20 question quiz every week. You can expect somewhere around three to four hours of of work per week including lectures not bad at all if you are like me where science isn't your thing and nothing really sticks with you you can expect to probably learn nothing probably I'm not gonna say you're not gonna learn anything because if you like fully pay attention and you're interested in this stuff you are gonna learn something I'm not interested in this stuff therefore I was unmotivated and didn't really learn anything that's on me I get it you can expect your teacher to not be super personal and he'll be extremely professional. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Overall thoughts on this month, well, on this class in this month, relatively boring. Um, extremely easy though. One of the lightest classes I've ever had. Total for the month, I spent 14 hours and 45 minutes. Most of that time probably could have been cut down if I focused intensely. So that's pretty much it for this one, guys. That is my experience. And month 14 for me could be your month 12 to 16 at Full Sail University for the class Fundamentals of Physical Science. Hope that helped a lot. Uh, this was part one of my month 14 out of three parts you know so shoot dang that's pretty much it go watch part two and watch part three and uh that is all i got for you guys for this one so if you would please like comment share subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video see you guys later